And with the news, here's Fossil. And welcome back to Views, Booze, and Cruise News. Hmm, I'm going to keep saying that until I get it right. Welcome to the week of April 7th, 2024. And I want to start off by talking about the eclipse that's taking place on tomorrow, 8th of April. And uh, don't be looking up at the sun. You could go blind. You know, it's like you're playing with it too long. So make sure that if you do look up at the sun, you're using something like an improved set of goggles. Uh, so you're not going to damage your eyes because that would suck. Even though the, the eclipse is a cool event, yeah, you don't want to wind up, you know, paying for that forever. Uh, you can always use the pinhole cameras, things like that. Look it up online. There's a lot of safe ways to do it. But be out there because it should be a very interesting uh, event. So now on to the cruise news. It's always important to stay hydrated, you know, and especially in sunny locations and on a cruise. Uh, but uh, it's going to cost you a little bit more now. Carnival Cruises has uh, just raised their water bottle prices for the 16.9 ounce bottles of water, the 12 packs, to uh, $14.95. You know, you can go get these at like Walmart for three bucks. So they are definitely gouging us a little bit on that. So with that said, there's a lot of other ways to get water on the ship without turning to the bottles. Or if that doesn't bother you, continue on. You know, if it just counts as part of your regular vacation expenditure. Just something you should be aware of. This is the third price hike since 2022. Well now, following up on the Baltimore port closing because of the uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge coming down, such a tragic accident. Uh, but uh, Baltimore Port has announced a tentative reopening date for the main channel leading to the port. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working hard to, to ensure maritime traffic can start coming in and out of that port. The Port of Baltimore has been facing significant operational challenges since uh, March 26th when the, uh, the freighter knocked the Francis Scott Key down into the water. A temporary navigational channel 280 feet wide, 35 feet deep, is anticipated to be operational by the end of April 2024. Full reopening of the permanent channel is expected by the end of May 2024. So currently the port remains closed to all shipping. And I gotta say kudos to the Army Corps of Engineers because people that thought that this uh, port was gonna remain closed for several months are pleasantly surprised that there's going to be an opening as, as soon as we can get it here. Beginning last week on April Fool's Day, and no, this is for real, two of MSC Cruises' 23 ships began offering a unique mixology experience at sea. Known as the World's Greatest Bars uh, program, this experience will be on board the MSC World Europa and the MSC Euribia until October 2024. In an effort to enhance food and, and beverage offerings on board, MSC Cruises have partnered with world-renowned bars such as Paradiso and Sips from Spain to bring their most famous cocktails to you. Maestros from the partnering bars personally uh, train the MSC bar teams showing them the secrets and the techniques that make the cocktails you know, go up to that next level. In a quote from them, we're delighted to bring the world's greatest bars concept on board our ships to create world-class and innovative experiences for our guests. New programs bring our food and beverage offerings to new heights, providing unforgettable experiences not seen before at sea. Uh, Margaritaville at sea unveils a variety of staterooms and suite options on board its newest ship, Islander. Each of the ship's 1,105 staterooms will be upgraded with new furnishings, fixtures, and Margaritaville signature bedding, pillows, and linens. Additionally, each room will feature custom stylings, including signature suites inspired by Jimmy Buffett's popular songs. And to me, probably the most exciting story of the day is Princess Cruises and Brightline have joined forces to introduce an innovative rail and sail program, offering guests swift and hassle-free access to Princess cruise ships departing from two popular Florida home ports, both Fort Lauderdale and Orlando, which is Port Canaveral. Um, the announcement also included debut of a train with four custom designed cars adorned with Princess iconic Love Boat branding, uh, complete with a signature Sea Witch logo and depictions of popular ports of calls. And now the important takeaway is Princess guests can also enjoy special discounts on up to 15% when booking smart and uh, premium rail and sail packages. Uh, through Brightline's website. Uh, also, for a limited time only, guests who do a Princess Cruise through May 5th will receive a Brightline credit of up to $150 a person for its signature smart and premium class service uh, based on stateroom type. And if you've hung along this line, you must be wondering, what are we drinking today? And in this case, it is my old standby Fireball. Uh, this cinnamon-flavored whiskey packs a pretty good punch, 
Uh, from a heat perspective, I like to keep mine in the freezer. Makes it a little thicker and a little cooler on the palate and just oh so delicious. So, mm. so until next time, happy cruising and don't forget the sunscreen.